and I find that Article 13 uh, is adopted and uh, is, is adopted by this body. Warrant Article 14 relates to the purchase of a service truck for the Rollins Road Highway Department. Will anyone move to open debate on Warrant Article 14? Mr. Coons and Mr. Irving, thank you very much. And is there a member of the board, Ms. Hubert, uh, willing to present the card? Thank you. So the thought behind this, and this is an idea that actually has come from the legislative body for the last couple of years, and that is to purchase just a, a pretty standard uh, truck for the highway department. Uh, at the moment, our road agent, when he's picking up cards or traveling around town or, uh, on errands as opposed to uh, any other type of business, uses what is now the smallest of our trucks, which is a Ford uh, something, 550. Thank you. And in the wintertime, it's only down with a sander. The mileage is not great. So this would give us this would give us the flexibility to provide a just a, a standard, uh, smallish service truck for the highway department to use for those kinds of circumstances. We think it would be more efficient. It's recommended by the select board. It was not recommended by the budget committee, and we will follow your wisdom uh, for this. And there's no, but there is no impact on taxation. The entire amount, twenty thousand, will come from the capital improvement reserve fund. And I rec um, thank you, um, Ms. Hewitt. I noticed that the article is not recommended by the um, budget committee. Is there a member of the budget committee who would like to address um, um, the budget committee's position on this? Thank you, Mr. Kruger. Again, speaking for the majority of those who voted not a unanimous decision, we feel this is a superfluous thing. Uh, it's simply not needed. We feel that we've we'll spent enough money. There are other things in capital improvement we need to pay attention to. This money needs to go back and to sit for other things. Thank you, Mr. Kirby. We're in debate on Warren Article 14. Egan Locust Street. I can think of no more useless item that has come before this board today than this. We're talking the difference of driving a one-ton truck versus a three-quarter ton truck. We're talking $40,000 for a new truck. How many miles per gallon and the difference of maybe a mile per gallon does it take before we come up to $40,000? I see absolutely no reason for this vehicle. And this is a small town. Let's, let's just go with what he's already got for driving. Thank you. That's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Uh, just to well, clarify, the, 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 the Warner is allowed to have 20 times. It doesn't ask for 40 times. Mm -hmm. Then I would have a follow-up question to that. Where are you going to get a brand new pickup truck for 20,000 bucks? Because I'd like to know. Okay, so, uh, before right. you respond, uh, sorry, through the, through the moderator. That's okay. So the, my the question is, um, is it possible to purchase a uh, truck for twenty thousand dollars? You and I as individuals? No. Not what we're talking about. But we're not purchasing as individuals. We're purchasing through the state bill. And yes, that's the schedule is twenty thousand dollars for a Ford. That's one fifty. With four wheel drive, all of that stuff. So it's a heck of a deal that you and I don't enjoy as purchases. Let me follow up with that, since you now mentioned it. A half-ton truck is not going to do any work, not the way they're built now. I've worked trucks my entire life. If you're not buying a three-quarter ton truck, and my guess is what the fire chief is looking for is going to be at least three-quarter ton, it's not going to hold up. And the difference in the mileage, I again say, is not going to cut it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Meehan. Well, just, I don't want to engage in debate, but I think Article 14 relates to the highway department and it's a different amount of money. Well, I understand that. It was just a mistake. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Meehan. And thanks for your patience. Uh, Sean Glidden, Bear Road. Um, so I, I agree with the last speaker that we should be purchasing a three-quarter ton. Um, for that reason, I'd like to amend it to $25,000. Um, I'd also like to mention that this vehicle could serve as a backup 
Although two storms ago, the one time truck pickup truck was actually involved in an accident to no fault of the driver. We had no way to plow some of the drive, some of the roads that were required to plow because it requires a four wheel drive vehicle. So in addition to being able to support the going for parks during storms, all of that, this vehicle would also be able to supplement the fleet in an emergency. So my recommendation would be to amend the warrant article um, sum to 25,000 and again that's state pitch for a three quarter ton pickup truck. So Mr. Glidden, I'm gonna um, uh, invoke one of the moderator's rules and ask you to go to the supervisor of the checklist and get a piece of paper and write that down uh, so that we, you've already written it down. Perfect. Can I have it? So I just changed the amount. Do you need the whole thing written down? It would be yeah. helpful, yeah. Okay. Just so that we make sure that we capture. Because so, I think I also heard you say something about three quarter rather than half ton. Um, I don't see the. Um, the it, it does not specify, but the 25,000 would cover that at that statement. Okay, so you, you move to amend the sum to $25,000 uh, and to authorize the withdrawal of $25,000, but leave it silent as to the, what kind of truck you just leave it to the sense of the body. Okay. Um, is that motion clear for our clerk? Yes, and clear for the select board? Is it clear first? The amount of money, yes, it's clear. The amount of money is clear. So let's get the amendment on the floor and then we'll, um, is there a second for Mr. Glidden's amendment? And, and it, uh, actually, I see Mr. Coons, and I apologize. I just don't recognize your name. Um, so, but thank you very much. Um, so, um, we are in debate on the motion to amend the amount of money from uh, twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars. And Mr. Wooden, thanks for your patience. Mr. Twenty-five thousand ain't going to get you a three-quarter ton truck and have it capable of plowing. Now you've got to trick it out with the undercarriage and the plow. <coughs> the majority of the budget committee thought this was a necessary expenditure as it was, increasing the cost and making it more of a utility vehicle for backup plowing is a waste of money. Quite candidly, I agree with Mr. Megan. This is an absolutely useless piece of expenditure. Mr. Roll has to respond as well. And I'm going to say I'm going to blow the chairman of the budget to his mind and then we're going to do it. Oh, part of it. I think it's exception to one part of it, but I think it was one as well taken. I don't honestly don't have the state bid sheet in front of me. I, I appreciate the sentiment, I really do. I, I, but I, I don't know if that will cover it. It certainly won't cover the cost to, uh, to outfit it with, with, the, with the proper plow equipment. Having said that, I want to just We may have gotten a little further away from what we really what we intended. I mean, this vehicle was, was so that we didn't have to put more wear and tear on a larger piece of equipment. So you know, that's a recommendation of one of the members of the budget committee who um, not support it um, when we brought it forward, but um, as one member of the board, not speaking for the entire board, I don't know if I could necessarily support the, um, the amended version or the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Roll. Ms. St. Clair. So, as a member of the budget committee, I did recommend it, and one of the ideas that I had suggested instead was that we repurpose one of the police vehicles. The SUVs that the police um, cycle through every year, Bob? Every other year. Every other year. Um, as, as a backup, as a, you know, vehicle for him, instead of spending more money on a vehicle, because we sell those vehicles anyways. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Reverend Morris, Coach Lane. I apologize for not knowing your name off the court. No problem. Go ahead. Um, if you're going to buy a vehicle to use for the highway department, and it really needs to be a pickup because a lot of the stuff he's carrying is parts for the trucks. Like he's got 11 foot plow gear on his truck. It's kind of hard to put 11 foot cut and it weighs several hundred pounds in an SUV. 
Also, you don't really have to trick out a three quarter ton. Most of them come ready to work. And everybody gets scared by the three quarter tons. Half tons really aren't made to work now. So wouldn't you, if you're gonna spend the money, wouldn't you rather have something some that's more capable to work with, that you can plow with, that you can tow with, and have greater payload capacity, than opposed to just having a truck that's <coughs> fairly useless? So, yeah. Thank you so much. Is there anything? I was wondering if the legislative body could give the road agent a chance to speak to this and why he would prefer to have a vehicle um, that's owned by the town to use to get parts versus his own vehicle. Um, so that's my question. Um, and if a question to the select board, if he does use his own vehicle for doing things like this, do we then have to pay him mileage and so forth? And I would just like to have the select board also address, or the road agent, address the vehicle repairs that put us at a shortage earlier this year. Um, I know one or two of the vehicles were in the repair shop at the same time, leaving us with only three of the vehicles were in the repair shop at the same time, leaving us very short-handed on five vehicles this year. Um, Mr. St. Jean, um, again, as a non-resident, uh, but serving in, a, in an administrative capacity, unless there's any objection, I would recommend you to respond to the questions. Mr. Moderator, can I, I think there were some questions also addressed to the board. Do you want me to answer those now? Or? Sure. Go ahead. So, Mr. St. Jean, our brother currently does not use his personal vehicle. And uh, as an employer, the town does not require him to do so. Because one can incur additional liabilities by requiring an employee to use his or her vehicle for the um, town business. The uh, items that uh, Ms. Leopold talked about, we had the F550 uh, was struck by someone else. And there was, I think, fourteen to fifteen thousand dollars worth of damage. Or the insurance company would be paying for that. It was out of commission for a while. I believe the other, uh, the damages to the other two uh, snowmobile vehicles were managed uh, in house through our road agent and um, assistance. Uh, you know, with the additional parts and that sort of thing. They, they, are, they do try to do whatever repair work that they do on their own. This is so what I think it looks like the by the time we get that I was going forward to. Okay. Uh, and just to say, do you wish to address the body? Is he here? Is he there? And here comes Mr. Jeff. So the question is, will I use my own vehicle? No, I will not use my own vehicle to run miles for the town. Uh, my vehicle gets in an accident, I'm on a vehicle. Um, so the trucks were broken down, our F-550 was involved in an accident, it was out of service for two weeks. Our GMC top pick, which was downtown route, um, the water pump let go in that truck, uh, that truck did go to Rochester truck uh, to get taken care of. And our international plow truck, um, that plows the outskirts of town, I guess, which is in 2013, had an exhaust leak um, which broke behind the, I guess right behind the trailer was a wide pipe in the crack, which was letting beams in the truck. So that went into being fixed. Um, no reason I'm looking to possibly get an F250 over a 150 is that we will be able to outfit it with cloud gear in case there is an emergency or a vehicle goes down. Uh, right, right now we rely on our other communities a little too heavy for mutual aid, and we're not able to give them back because we have just the right amount of equipment to, to do the job. Um, in the state bid on an F-250, the city of Dover just took delivery of one, was $25,000 through the state. Thank you, Mr. St. Jean. Thank you. Okay. We're in the debate on the motion to amend Article 14. I think we're ready to call the question on the amendment, the request to amend. Somebody, okay. Sign. Nancy Dino, 44 Rollins Road. Now, getting the 350 to plow does not include the plow at that $25,000, I believe. I believe that's just the bid on the truck itself. So it does have to be 
tricked out with a plow and everything else to be used for plowing. So it would be an additional cost. Thank you, Ms. Diane. I don't want to rush us, but I think we're ready to call the question on the motion to amend. So the motion to amend Article 14 is to raise the amount stated uh, in the vote to raise and appropriate from $20,000 to $25,000. Uh, and also to make a to withdraw the sum of $25,000 from the capital improvement fund. Uh, let's try it first without tellers. Those in favor of the motion to um, raise the amount stated in Article 14, raise your ballots, or your uh, cards. Those opposed, put those down, please. Those opposed, so the tellers, I will need your help. You can put your, uh, voting card down for a second. <coughs> Tell us you can take your position and um, Ms. Flynn and Ms. Um, Mr. Foss, if you could take this um, select board and Mr. Benedetto, who's standing right smack in the middle. Um, and um, if you can take this side of the room back to the wall. So those in favor of the motion to amend Article 14 to raise the amount of $25,000, please raise your voting card. Um, some difficulty verifying their vote, and they've asked um, that I call for a re-vote on the motion to amend Warrant Article 14. So this is the vote to amend the amount from twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars, and to uh, authorize a uh, the withdrawal of the same amount from the capital improvement fund. So if you're in favor of the amendment, please raise your card and tell us if you could please count again. Uh, again, um, Ms. Lynn and Mr. Foss, if you could count the select board and Mr. Benedetto.
may lower your cards. Oh, sorry. Please keep your no cards straight.